Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars. This is for uh, Napleton Kia in Blue Heron Boulevard in Riviera Beach. And uh, they, they ran a, a television ad. Here's the Napleton Kia television ad, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this. Napleton Kia is second to none, and all we do is discount Kias. And the price we say is the price you pay. No hidden costs. A 2013 Kia Optima for $19,980. That's right. We say $19,980 for an Optima, and you actually pay $19,980. Napleton Kia, easy drive on I-9. At Blue Heron Boulevard, Naples and Kia, your discount leader. Where the price we say is the price you pay. Naples, second to none since 1931. We we transcribed it for you, so you can. Uh, I'm gonna sl- I'm gonna read it to you now. This is this is what they say. Napleton Kia in um, Riviera Beach on Blue Heron Boulevard. All we do is discount Kias. The price we say is the price you pay. Okay. All we do is discount kids. The price we say is the price you pay. No hidden costs. 2013 Kia, $19,980. That's right. We say $19,980 for an Optima LX. Naples is the discount leader. The price we say is the price you pay. Okay. You heard that pretty well. $19,980. dollars Now, our mystery shopper, Agent Clean Sweep, one of our best best mystery shoppers I went into Napleton Kia on Blue Heron Boulevard in Riviera Beach and uh, walked up to the salesperson and the, the uh, mystery shopper uh, asked if uh, uh, she could see the 2013 Kia Optima that was on an advertisement on television listed for $19,980. So he said, uh, you can't see the car right now because it's out on a test drive. She could see it when it came back in. So apparently it was just one car. Uh, so while, while she was waiting for the option to come back from the test drive, uh, she asked, am I going to be able to buy the car today? And explained that it would be $19,980 plus tax tag and dealer fees. So Agent Clean Sweep asked Sam, why was the dealer fee being added to the $19,980 when the advertisement stated no hidden cost? No hidden cost. It said 19000 The price we say is the price you pay. No hidden cost. I mean, it can't be any clearer than that. So uh, he explained the, uh, that the dealer fees are always added to the sale price for the car and that every dealership does this. Well, I know of several dealers, including myself, that don't do this, so that's another lie. Uh, when the car came back from the test drive, Sam offered uh, to show the car to agents a clean sweep, but he wouldn't let Agent Clean Sweep drive the car because they said uh, the other salesman was working the deal on the car and it was going to be sold. So uh, Agent Clean Sweep said, "If there's some other cars on the lot, you know, any color that I could purchase uh, for the same price." And uh, Sam said uh, he needed to talk to his manager. Goes back and uh, he explained that the only three Optima LXs were under this deal. And they've all been sold. Isn't that amazing? Uh, The car that she looked at, Agent Clean Sweep, is going to be sold. And the other three, if they ever existed, have already been sold. What I want to know is why are they still running that television ad? And when did they sell those? How long have they been running this television ad when all the cars that were eligible were sold? Now, we stopped the television ad and we blew up the fine print. And in the fine print, it says that the uh, price includes all Kia rebates and incentives, a dealer cash plus tax title registration, and here's the keyword, fees. doesn't say dealer fee. doesn't give the amount of the dealer fee. By the way, Naplin Kia's dealer fee is $799. Naplin Kia also adds an electronic filing fee, which is also a dealer fee, but they don't talk about that, and they don't even disclose that in the ad. So you don't know how much fees. Fee implies... Uh, legitimate state, federal, and local uh, taxes, but it's a dealer fee. That was in the fine print, which is totally unreadable unless you freeze frame and stop the video on the uh, commercial. So they would not sell the car they advertised. They said the car was sold. 
I don't believe the car ever existed, if you want my opinion. I don't know for that for a fact. And I don't believe they sold three other cars like that. Also, that w- what we were able to see from the television ad was that there was a stock number on the car. The stock number means there's only one car at that price. And the salesman said they'd sold three others. I don't believe that. I think the only one they had at that price was one with a stock number, and I'm not even sure they sold that one. Now, the next step is Agent Clean Sweep says, he says, what am I going to do? I came in on this uh, car. You say they're all sold. Uh, he said that in order to buy a car, they would only sell them an Optima LX at full sticker price. They said the full sticker price was $22,494. Of course, they had to add their dealer fee and their electronic filing fee onto that. So they're already saying that they're going to charge her $3,000 more. That is classic bait and switch. It is illegal to advertise a car without including the price of the dealer fee. This specific car did not have the dealer fee price included. That is illegal under Florida law. And also, it's illegal under the uh, under the uh, Federal Trade Commission. The Federal Trade Commission clearly states that you cannot contradict the message in the ad. The message conveyed in the ad must not be contradicted by the fine print. This clearly contradicts the message of the ad that you could buy this car for $19,980 and they, they had the gall, the audacity to say, no hidden fees. I mean, that's an out-and-out out lie. I don't know. Pam Bondi, uh, where are you? Uh, Pam Bondi is our attorney general, I think. Uh, she may have retired and just didn't tell anybody. But where's our attorney general when, when dealers are doing this sort of thing? Why doesn't somebody who has her personal email address or maybe her cell phone number say, Pam, you know, this guy Earl Stewart down here in uh, Palm Beach County is saying all sorts of negative things about you, why you don't enforce the laws of the land. That's her job mm-hmm. as attorney general, to enforce the laws of Florida. And here we have a dealer up here violating the law, unfair and deceptive trade practices, sales practices, and he just gets away with it, carte blanche. Anyway, I've got the good dealer and the bad dealer list. I don't have a, I don't have a score low enough for this uh, particular dealer. So don't buy your next Kia from Naples and Kia. Uh, on Blue Heron Boulevard and, uh, and Riviera Beach. 